So in the news recently, Virgin Galactic like went to outer space, right? And like Richard Branson's like the oldest person to <laughs> go to space or something. Uh, I think it, yes, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? And then as a follow-up, mm-hmm. in, do you believe in your lifetime you will go into space? Okay, I have a question about the second question, but okay. I'll answer the first one first. Um, okay, I have a couple of hot takes on this. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so... I was waiting to see how NASA astronauts reacted because I was like, maybe I don't have (laughs) the warrant to feel this way because I'm not an astronaut. (laughs) But I was like, well, let me see. And most of them that I saw or any of them that I saw, they were all very happy about it. And I was like, maybe I should cool down. (laughs) Um, But, you know, I'm, I think it's pretty awesome um, that there's non-government entities that are doing it. I think that's fabulous. But I also feel, (laughs) I can hold space for both. um, I almost feel like they skipped a line. Yeah. You know, Um, and that's, it hasn't been able to leave me And I guess it's my classic thought of what an astronaut should be. I feel like it's very important that we should be sending real people to space and like uh, civilians, but I feel like it happened so fast, you know, within the past year, it just rocketed off. And um, that's a word, but uh, yeah, I think it's awesome, but I also feel like there's a respect that needs to be given to, I don't know, to space flight, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a, what is it, like a precarious situation? Is that, I don't know. If that, yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. It's like, we now are entering a phase where we have the ability to send tourists to space. Yes. And the reason we're in this position is because of all the hard work and dedication that's come before. It's, you know what it is? <laughs> you just, it triggered my mind. I just recently rewatched Jurassic Park. Um, and that's a great way to spend your time. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's Ian Malcolm saying, you stood on the shoulders. I'm going to butcher this so bad. He's like, you stood on the shoulders of people who had done all the work for you. And now you're just, you're packaging it. You're patenting yeah. it and all that stuff. That's how I feel. It's hot take. Everyone's I, kind of, I excited. don't know if it's, I mean, maybe it's hot, but it's very understandable. I mean, okay. you interact with these people on a daily basis. You see what goes on and just the training, the <laughs> effort and, Yes. everything involved and then um ah, yeah it feels like um I wouldn't say a slap on the face I would just say like they're they're like uh, like what like it's hard like that that's yeah. how I see it and it's it's a little uh, they're probably not meaning it like that but um I'm like, there are thousands of people on the ground making sure that the astronauts right now are safe. And, you know, it's, it's not just for fun, you know, Yeah. it's. So So how, how do we communicate to the general public kind of this idea about that, that it's not just like this instant, oh, now we go to space now. And this, you know, the dedication that took place before. I'm not sure. Um, That's a really good question because NASA has had a lot of setbacks. Like, um, I think it's, you know, we're a government agency, but also the acts, the three accidents that we've had, Apollo 1, Challenger, and Columbia to bring them back up. um, It it really showed the public how dangerous it is. And I feel... Mm -hmm. Like the last accident we had was in 2003. And, um, you know, people who were born after that, it's like, 
and I'm not saying God forbid there's another accident that I, I don't think we need an accident to show the importance of safety. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I don't know if that made any sense. Um, there, there's nothing at stake really, if, you know? Um, yeah. And you can't really quantify that until, oh God, this got dark. I'm sorry, <laughs> I apologize. I don't yeah, know. It, well, what you're I'm saying sure. is like, it's unfortunate that tragedy has to remind people of the importance of diligence and safety. Yes. Um, and because of that diligence and safety, we haven't had a tragedy in a long while. Yes. And you don't want it to happen again by just like taking it for granted and yes. uh, not considering all the seriousness about it. Yes. And I mean, a poster that's in, at least it's in our building. I know it's in our in mission control as well, but um, it's the foundations of flight operations. And I think there's seven foundations and it's like tough competence or toughness competence um and it's they're everywhere and it just says like we need to know that at any point like in another apollo 13 could happen and we need to be ready for it and i think because of these tra tragedies it's like nasa has just been like okay well we can't spare any time we need to do it right the first time and that's really ingrained in all of the employees. And I, not saying that Virgin Galactic or SpaceX doesn't have that, um, but it's definitely taught us how to do things in such a diligent manner. Yeah. What do you think about, uh, what is it? There's like Blue Origin and there's a, another one too. Amazon, Bezos is getting involved now? Yes, Bezos is doing Blue Origin, which- Okay. He's flying on July 20th, which is the 52nd anniversary of the moon landing. And okay. that's just sacrilegious to me. <laughs> I'm like, you could have picked any other day, um, but it's the same story. I'm like, okay, well, you do what you gotta do. So what's the difference? Okay, so there's SpaceX, Blue Origin. Uh, there's like another one too, right? Like Jet something. I'm not sure. Um, there's about like 11, I think, 11 or 12, like okay. just private organizations. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know all the names. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what it sounds like is currently right now, you would not go to space based on principle. Yeah, I would have to go. I would have to apply to be a NASA astronaut and go that route. 